so mad now. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. I get ornery. Where is he? We are fucking running. He can have that knife. That's fine. I hated that knife. That knife said Steve Burnside on it. I fucking hate that knife. It said, that knife said Billy Cohen on it. I don't need it. <laughs> oh, shit. What's up, D bag? I think there was bullets down there that I just ran past, but I don't care. I just want to get the F out of here. Cootie knife? Yeah, it was a knife full of cooties. Oh, shit, bro! I just heard that knife break, so I don't need it back now. Oof. Okay, so in that room is where we gotta put these these uh little um plugs. Alright, so paper says the rook is next to the knight but not facing the queen. So the rook is there. Rook is next to the knight. but not facing the queen. I don't have all the plugs, do I? Oh yeah, I do. I got four in here, okay. So I think that means the knight goes here. I'm gonna go with my original idea. The rook goes here. The king ain't next to the queen, but it faces the knight. Right at the end, and the knight ain't where the case marks. Ooh. I think maybe the knight goes here. Rook. Knight. I thought it said it faces the king on the end. So does that mean the pawn isn't where it belongs either? is next to the knight but not facing the queen the king is not next to the queen but it faces the knight right at the end and the knight ain't where the case markings are okay so the knight is here at the end that's where it says it's supposed to but that's the sheet said it's not supposed to be there so the king is in its right spot I guess but it, where the pawn is Queen's here. Oh, you know what? Let's get them all. I think the knight goes where... I think I figured it out now. So the knight, I think, goes here. Where's the knight? Oh, I left it over here. Now I want to see a Resident Evil chess set. Yeah, for sure. Knight. Rook. Pawn. I was wondering why. I'm like, well, the, it doesn't say the pawn sign is wrong. Uh, queen. 
bishop, king. Knew it. Well, not. Yeah. <laughs> First try, motherfucker. No. Of course not. <laughs> Man, we better save because Ada might be dead. <laughs> get some sleep, dude. Stop bossing me around, lonely. We'll get some sleep right after we save Ada Wong. Ada Wong? Ada Wong? Tommy Chong? What was that? Uh, I think it's from um, the Reservoir Dogs. Hmm. A locked door, huh? Thank goodness for that. Remember when I said they better give me a green herb with that red herb? Well, they did. So thank you, game. It's going to play out the same way it did last time, because that would suck. What, another red herb? Come on, game. You're being ridiculous. Same exact thing as the last. Ow. What is this sleep you speak of? Exactly. Oh shit, I missed. That sucks. We gotta do it twice. Give us a knife and a flash grenade. Awesome. We'll stay over here so we don't get hurt. Kind of wasted those flame rounds. That's alright though. As long as we can go. We used pretty much all of our ammo there. Son. Damn, homie. In high school, you was the man, homie. Let's hope that's the last of them. 
any other treats here? Sleep John he says lonely he says I'm not sure. I read about it once. It sounds lovely. Over here. Oh wow, she's not even laying where she was anymore. I can't get it out. I don't know if I should die. Just do it. I can't walk like this. Okay. things like shit, man. <laughs> you know it does. So, what do we do now? Get yourself out of here. Well, you still can. I'm not just gonna leave you. Not like this. You don't understand. The situation's worse than I thought. <laughs> Ouchies. Oh, me that easy. You protected me. Now it's my turn. Realized we were keeping score. <laughs> That's a good callback. Put on my shoulder. Don't push it, rookie. Anyway, <laughs> trying to help. Watch your step. Yeah, watch your step in those fucking high heels you're wearing. We're fighting monsters and zombies. Umbrella's lab, right beneath us. Net let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I could fit in my schedule. <laughs> Come on. We got work to do. Yes, ma'am. So I remember in the the other thing is like how kind of Claire, even though Claire left Lee on that note, th there that was a very pivotal scene in Resident Evil 2, the original, where him and Claire have find each other in the star's office and he and she says, Hey, my brother's not here. You know, but here I found some walkies. Let's keep in touch. And the reason that's important is because uh, it almost keeps them going in a way. You know, like, hey, you know, I found a survivor. And then, you know, uh, Claire's like, yeah, me too. And there's this uh, little girl named Sherry. And it's like, oh, her, net's, her, her mom's Annette. And they were able to share information. I feel like that's very good for the narrative to have scenes like that every once in a while. It's like where you're just maybe just walking and then it just cuts to him radioing her. Like, hey, here's an update real quick. I kind of like those scenes because there's only like two or three of them in the original, and I kind of like those scenes because they they make it more a little bit more impactful, like that everyone's moving in the same direction and and you understand that they both are moving in the same direction. So Leon is because at the end of this it was just like Leon shows up and you're like and he's like on that camera and I'm just kind of like uh, okay like he showed up like it, it seems kind of random that they both went the same trajectory whereas if they both had the walkies they could nap they could say like oh I, I found a, a sewer lid in the back of the police department go through there and you'll find you know I'm heading that way it's like uh, but instead it kind of seems more like coincidence in this game and so just a little nitpick there not uh, not again none of these nitpicks make me dislike this game at all uh, this game has been really really fun so far but just comparing the old one to the new one because it's like once Ada comes in, he kind of forgets Claire, and then same with Claire once she gets Sherry. So. Lonely says they're good scenes. Shame they didn't add them. Yeah, that would have been nice, but, you know, it's all right. They added a bunch of other cool stuff in here, so. Okie dokie. This is kind of cool. I like how they did the trams in this one. Because like I said, this is actually what Paul Anderson's original idea was for the Resident Evil 1 movie. There's going to be a tram like this moving diagonally. Kind of like, they compared it more to Resident Evil Zero. 
Um, can't wait to get the raid umbrella headquarters. But I think it's because when they were making Resident Evil 1, the movie, agree, they had clear? seen, like, Capcom showed them the stuff from Zero, like, plans they had. And I think he kind of worked his script around some of those ideas. And then when they got to Germany, Germany's like, we don't have a train that goes like that. <laughs> we have a train that goes like this. So you can use that one if you want. Secure the G virus. I can make sure what happened in Raccoon City never happens again. Yeah. You say it yourself. It's a federal case. I Leon, don't have the authority. Look at me. I'm a liability now. If I'm going to finish this case, you're the last hope I've got. I'm hmm. just going to leave you here. What if you're attacked? What if you need help? Whoa. Oh. I got plenty to live for. Trust me. Now, arriving at Ness. So she, it's weird because she doesn't even, so far, hasn't even mentioned John Clemens. Um, that's a big, kind of a big thing. Please, we don't have much time. Uh, continuity wise. You're going to need this. Okay. Hmm. Oh my. <laughs> Lonely and Jamley are cracking me up in the chat. Oh my. I was half expecting a, a claw arm to come through the wall and stab her like in the uh, original game. Alright, let's see what we can put away. See, this doesn't have a check mark next to it, so I guess we didn't use it. Oh yeah, we didn't use it through the broken side. So, yeah. Oh, well, that's fine. So, no, we don't need it. Let's save that for later. Let's save that for later. Let's save that for later, maybe? Okay. I was hoping there was like a Mr. Raccoon on top of the tram, but oh well. Damn, look at this place. Whoa. I'm also surprised they didn't add any design elements from uh, Resident Evil Zero, because, like, <laughs> Resident Evil Zero, I hope they never remake uh, at all. Or if they do, I just hope it's a complete redoing of the entire game where you actually play as a Bravo team. Um, but uh, now that scene in the... Maybe it's for the benefit, but that scene in Resident Evil Zero, when you go into the lab and it looks like you're in the lab from Resident Evil 2. It looks like you're in the, the hive or the nest. It's... Welcome to nest. Enjoy your visit. Um, that'd be cool. If, uh, it's like... You know, it's like... Or, or not, not that'd be cool, but it's like... In that, you went down to, uh... It looked like the lab from Resident Evil 2. Now, this is the lab from Resident Evil 2, so... It looks nothing like it. No more, no more Billy Cooties. It's true. to go down like that.
Give me that knife back, yo. They combined? Are they one zombie now? Got a lot of fuel. Whoa, what's up with him? I just used all my bullets. I literally have no. I should have brought the flame to her. Gunpowder. Can I not reach? Hello, where's Barry? What's up? <laughs> Pawn noobs. What's up, dude? How's it going? Sorry I didn't see you jump in for a second there. Um, oh, this is where last night I got, I was so tired and silly that I sang a song about pipes and, and why you shouldn't put pipes in your butt or something. <laughs> yeah, it was a weird night. Barry, Barry in the house. Oh, Barry in the house. Oh, shake my tits for Barry in the house. Oh, I'm tired again. <laughs> That's so. Hey, you get what you pay for on here. <laughs> Unless some of you guys subscribe, then I'm sorry. I should do better. But oh, okay. Bye. Oh. Okay. Bye. Say goodbye to every. Say, say goodbye to Barry, everyone. He's he's done. Ooh, nice. Because of the boop song. Oh oh. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I know. Sometimes Barry will break out into a song or something or do like one of his hype videos, which are awesome if you haven't ever seen them. Um, and then he'll joke like twenty people, leave the chat. Um, which I don't, that's not my perspective of it. I don't really see anyone leave the chat, but, but, uh, I, but I get it. I know he's, I know he's just fucking around. Oh, right. This guy's a fucking, he's got gear on. Oof. Dang. Stay safe, Barry. You are amazing, Seek. I don't know. Not according not according to Barry. If, if I sing a boob song, he's got it, you know. It's like his kryptonite. He's like, what? So, boobs? Man boobs? I'm out. <laughs> That's right. I understand. Hey, Wayne Lee, our friend Wayne Lee, who's still taking a nap. All right. Uh, let's... We got some... We got some gunpowder down here. We got fuel. I guess we might as well. Okay, let's mix the gunpowder. Let's get our flamethrower too. But we got shotgun shells and the. We got magnum ammo. I'm saving all that for the boss for our boss fight. Let me just 
thing. I think we just got an upgrade for it too. Uh, shaking my tits for Barry, direct quote. <laughs> hey, I do it for OK Cunning. I should probably do it for some other people too, but hey, you know what? When you catch me at 12 on a, on a, on a pair of days like this where we've been streaming a lot, you especially, holy shit, I don't know how you do it, Barry. I, uh, yesterday I like, I went to, I edited a video in the morning uh, which took like 10 hours like I did it th the night before and then I had to touch some things up in the morning upload that to YouTube go to work for nine hours come home stream for eight hours from like midnight to 8 a.m. this morning and then I slept till two but man that was not enough sleep um, I woke up twice during eight to two for, to walk my dog once and then once just to take some uh, ibuprofen and uh, so uh, but every time I would looked on Barry was playing. I'm like, how the hell, man? You're a fucking machine, dude. Um, okay. Yeah, we can probably put the... Store that away. That'll free up some spots. Did over 24 hours in two days, so I never want to play video games again. Dude, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I, I'm telling you. I'm so, I mean, this is our first, we played Claire last night, and I'm playing Leon now, and both times I've been tired as fuck playing, um, and it's a, it's a bummer, because I wanted to be more energetic and be more excited, I mean, I'm definitely enjoying the game, I just, fuck, I'm just tired, um, and like you, I have some critiques of the game, I'm, mostly mine's like lore-based and continuity-based, so we've been talking about that in this stream, how, um, Ada doesn't mention John. You know, originally she said she was here looking for a boyfriend, John. In this game, she straight up says she's FBI. She doesn't even mention John. Um, now the labs from Resident Evil Zero and Resident Evil Two don't match <laughs> again because they remade this and they redid the lab completely. That's fine. I fucking I hate Resident Evil Zero anyway. Um, so I'm okay with retconning anything to do with Resident Evil Zero. Um, okay. Wait, that's not... Oh, that's Matilda bullets. All right, so let's put that away. And let's get the Matilda. They're changing Tyrant's mission from catching Sherry's virus thing to just exterminating everyone. Yeah, that was the other thing. Um, so we haven't seen the, the Mr. X. I mean, like, he died in Claire's A game, so I'm, I, I don't know. I'm going to try to avoid spoilers. I haven't watched any of your playthroughs past um, the first Birkin fight. Um, and that was just because, I mean, not that you could really spoil anything in this game for someone who knows the Resident Evil 2 game like the back of his hand. Um, but uh, but still, I'm like, out, you know, there's a lot of things. Yeah, the Tyrant, they, they mentioned, oh, he's just here to, he wiped, he killed Ben. I'm like, oh, he killed Ben? And Ben isn't like a an embryo G baby thing like he was in the original game. So yeah, it's a little weird. Um so yeah, the tyrant, yeah, the the Mr. X was originally he didn't drop out of a helicopter. The helicopter crash was just a random crash. You actually don't even really see it from either character's POV. You just hear it and it makes it crashes into a building, but it it just does like a little I mean, I remember playing in Claire A, and it like comes through the building. You see it like, and the building just shakes a little. And I'm like, that's it. That's it. It would cause way more damage and be have way more of an impact. Like, not that I'm looking for realism. It's just kind of like, what are you guys doing? You have a chance to like be nitpicky this time. You have a chance to like go through this and and be super nitpicky. <laughs> All right, before we go running around over there. Oh, wait, we need the... Hold on. Don't we need something to attach to this, or do we not? Nope, we don't. Okay, good. Then we'll... Because remember last time I kept running back and forth with this stupid thing? So this time we can actually... We can actually just do this now. Whoa. 
God damn it. Much you can use like forty percent flame on those things. That sucks. Um, so yeah, they they changed some of like Annette has different character motivations in this one. Although I like her more in this one. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not. Like I mean, I know that was their goal is to make her more likable, but I'm kind of like eh. She's not really supposed to be likable. Boom. I'm gonna put that there. So it's just in my default uh, default spot. There's Mr. Lee's note. We can chat more after you beat Leon. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, I would love to chat with you about it. Um, cause I'm sure after we beat Leon, like, throughout next week, we're gonna, you know, you'll probably catch me playing, like, Fourth Survivor and, uh, Tofu and probably re playing Leon A and Claire B and stuff, so, um, so yeah, there are plenty of opportunities, or I'll jump in your chat, um, I'm sure. I've been lurking a lot with you, it's cause, just cause I'm at work, um, usually, like, I've just been crazy slammed at work lately, so, uh, yeah, so I just catch your streams, like, you know catch like 20 minutes here 20 minutes there so thank you for making that playlist for me i think you played a couple more times this week like wednesday and thursday that i still can't find them i don't know if they're set to private um or if it's like a youtube thing i don't know but i appreciate you making that playlist for me because i went through i think you had like four six hour streams or three six hour streams and like a two or three hour stream but i went through and watched all of them dude um uh, I had immensely enjoyed them. I had them on in the background while I was working on my History of Resident Evil videos. Uh, which, by the way, if, if anyone in the chat has not seen those, um, put a lot of hard work into them <laughs> for, for 10 views, but that's okay. I don't really do it for the views. I, I, I'm trying to commit. Like when I say, hey, I'm going to do something, I tr I'm just trying to do it and accomplish it, and it makes just makes me feel better. Um, but I know Lonely Symbiote and uh, and Jomley and people, you know, regulars here have been checking them out. But I appreciate the feedback on them because I'm trying to get better at them so that my later videos get better. Um, but I mean, I'm doing the full history just from like 1962 to 1998 for now. And then if, you know, if they catch on and people end up liking them, maybe I'll do everything after Res Evil 2. Um, now it's me. I have uh, to manually do it. Code Veronica stream was super pixelated, so I didn't add them. I shared your video on Twitter the other day. Hopefully some people checked out. Yeah, I think so, man. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, because I saw, I think my first or second history video had, had like three views for like 24 hours, and then it jumped up to like 20, you know, 22 or 23 views. So um, thank you. I really appreciate that, man. Um, uh, it definitely, it definitely helps. Every, I mean, every little bit helps. It's fine. I mean, if no one watches, it's it's cool. I'm... The Venom vlog thing is what I make to interact with people. Anything else that's not Venom vlog, I just do it because I'm like, you know, I want to talk about something other than Venom. <laughs> it's pretty much it. Or I'm testing. I'm like trying to see if I can be a better editor. That's what the history of Resident Evil videos are. It's like a narration with a microphone. Um, so I'm trying to like improve the audio sound of it. And, you know, I'm, try I'm getting there. I'm just trying to teach myself stuff because I'm pretty dumb when it comes to technology. Speaking of work, job number one starts in a few hours, so I gotta go to bed. Hey, John Lee, good night, good night. Um, what you drinking? Or did we start one? Did we do one for the stream? I don't know. If we didn't, um, I win. If we did, then you win. And congratulations. And get some sleep. <laughs> um, since we're in the final lab, we're just gonna play this till we beat it. I know I have work in a few hours too, but I mean, we're, we'll just play. I'll try to stop. The, I'll try. Um, I'll try to stop. Futzing around. So that door is locked. Presentation. We gotta go this way. So what? Hey Barry, what do you think of the ivy redesigns? Uh, the ivy plant men creatures. What 
that had like the bodies of humans but had the faces of like plants in Resident Evil 2. I like their I kind of like the redesign a little bit in this. They remind me of those creatures from Resident Evil 4 where you had to use the infrared scope to see the pimples on them. You had to shoot off the certain pimples. Adult Groots? Yeah, they're pretty much right. Yep, Adult Groots. Yeah, I thought they did a good job with some of this. I was actually surprised. No spiders. I was anticipating seeing um, giant spiders when I first went in the sewers, and every corner I went around, I was like, here they come. Here come the spiders. And they never showed up. I was kind of surprised by that. I think I screamed, the mold is back. <laughs> yeah, they kind of like early stage, early versions of the mold. Son of a bitch. So the one guy said burning them prevents them from coming back. Is that true? Like, is that not going to come back now? I hope not, because I hate, I hate them. I like the look of them, but I hate them. They die in one hit with acid or flame rounds. Oh, no? They, it comes back three times? Ah, okay. But I like how this whole thing, like, they kind of try to tie it more to Plant 42. They call them Plant 43s in this one. And uh, they talk about how out of control it's gotten. That's pretty awesome. Oh, is the code the same? Nope. So we gotta find some s statue. Even though we, I think we guessed it. We didn't guess it, but we got close to guessing it. And then we found that statue that tells it. They had V-Jolt too, right? Um, yeah, you you make you basically make V-Jolt in here. That's what we're gonna mix now with the chemicals. This game doesn't have enough spiders. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Um, yeah, they, they, they don't call it, v, I think they don't call it V-Jolt, but they, it's something like that. Yeah, they, they mention something. Um, so this has, yeah, it's that, the line, so they probably changed the last few digits. That sucks. I saw a note that said UM23 or something. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you're right. So here's plant 43, and then, yeah, UMB23. I think that's the same thing as the Resident Evil 1 remake slash Resident Evil 1. So they were pretty good about putting some of these continuity things in there um, and tying them in. I really like the, um, the orphanage thing because that makes me think of Lisa Trevor, how they were like, oh, well, we want to operate on kids, you know, it seems like Lisa Trevor was kind of a hit, you know, as far as, like, creating with the kind of potential that, that she showed them with, within the virus, the progenitor virus. So I kind of liked that they were like, oh, we'll, you know, kidnap some kids, we'll create an orphanage, and we have endless supply of kid subjects now. I thought that was pretty neat. So this is Tetris sign line, two squares, F, and parallels. Give me my knife back, son. The outbreak connection was interesting. There's a couple outbreak connections in here. Uh, Nest, for example, they call it Nest. I think that was from Outbreak. Um, Rita, that police officer, I think you might have even made a video on that. Um, what else was there? Um, there was in my first playthrough with Claire, I mentioned like a couple outbreak references. I think there's a cowboy hat from Kevin. I think Lonely noticed that one. There's like a cowboy hat on one of the police officer desks. Um, so we have this, two squares, F, parallel. Dope. Bam. Nope. It's this, that. Uh, 
this, that. I'm guessing they probably just changed the last two digits, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. The orphanage had a character named Oliver. Yeah, Oliver. And Oliver was the name of the kid in RE7 that Lucas tortured. That was funny. I, th I was wondering about that because I said, hey, that's so funny you said that. Because I was thinking that too, but I don't... Could it be the same kid? I guess it could be. Because uh, when Lucas was a, a boy, it would have been around this age. But he said that kid was a neighbor of his, and didn't he kill that kid? Um, try to do the math. I don't think it added up. Yeah, it's, I think they probably just reused the name. I don't think it's the same Oliver. But I, I had that thought when we were playing. Um, but uh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, my brain is kind of fried right now because of how late it is, but I think, yeah, there was a couple outbreak connections that I, that got me really jazzed up. Dude, we got, we got some handgun ammo now, bud. But I'm okay using the flame round since we have so freaking many. There was a lot of things we didn't do in our Claire playthrough, like uh, go back to the police department and, and uh, we developed the film that showed the picture of the two desks, but we didn't go explore the two desks. There was just too many creatures I left alive, and I was like, I'm not battling through those things. Uh, the Mr. Raccoon is from Outbreak. Yes, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the zoo references are great. Because um, in my history of Resident Evil videos, I've been looking up a lot about Raccoon City and the history of the city and where Umbrella like plays a part in, and they play that more up in this version, where it's like, um, where they talk about how influential Umbrella was to this place, and uh, the kind of funding they did, who they helped get into, uh, you know, political offices and stuff, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, Umbrella is like, this is Umbrella's town. Uh, yeah, he's the zoo mascot, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's also the little things you have to shoot. Those little, like, uh, target practice things. Alright, what's in here? I can't remember. Mm, okay, I'll take it. I'm, I'm actually a big fan of the knives. <laughs> I will take knives any day of the week. Oh, flame. Look at that. Perfect. Just burn those computers, seek. Oh. Is there anything in here we need? Is it just the saver? What? Um, was there any things in the game that you didn't like too much, Barry? I know I saw Lonely says uh, Mr. Raccoon is a zoo mascot. She says, uh, I would be so excited for a remake of Outbreak Games. I already have a buddy on board with playing if they do. I loved the first two. I thought they were really great. I hated the first one at first because it was like, it was, it's pretty ahead of its time as far as like online gaming wasn't a big thing back then on the you know, PS2. Uh, maybe outside of a few sports games. I didn't really dig it at first until I made a few friends online. Then Outbreak became really fun, and then I got more interested in the, the lore of uh, of it. And it looks like they changed some things in this remake to tie Outbreak in so that Outbreak would feel more like continuity, which is funny because it's like, well, can you re-release Outbreak then? <laughs> so we could all enjoy that continuity one more time. Uh, minus the Ada Sherry parts. Yeah, I don't like the four scenarios are basically the same. So I've noticed that with this Leon playthrough, and I was wondering. I was going to go flip on some of your videos to see if if, if you had thought that too. Um, I am not a fan of that either, actually. I, I uh, We've basically been doing the same things in this playthrough that Claire did, and I'm kind of over it. I'm like, I don't know. And I'm like, what's the point of doing two campaigns then? Why not just make it, here's a game, one story, you can play through as Leon or Claire. You do the same exact things, there's no A and B, you know. Yeah. It's a nitpicky thing, in my opinion, but it's like, it's, it feels, 
feels like a proper criticism of this game. Like I, I, I would even say it's not really nitpicky. It's more, it's a legit criticism. I feel. Get ready to do it two more times. Oh God, yeah. That's kind of a bummer. that's a real bummer. Because it's a new game, I don't want to dread it already. I mean, even Resident Evil Four or Six gave us four completely different campaigns. You know, um, sure, some of them crossed over in similar areas or took place near each other or you know whatever. But for the most part, they were four separate campaigns. So it's a little bit of a bummer that this one couldn't do that. Shit on me. Damn. He, wow, he fucking got behind me. <laughs> Boom. Fucking crispy critter now, motherfucker. No. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm talking, cra taking crazy pills. RE fans are like, four scenarios amazing, and I'm like, they are the same. Oh, so people online are like loving the shit out of, because, because I'm, 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 I feel it's a legit cr critique. Um, like I said, at first I thought it was nitpicking when I when we played this earlier, and I got to the halfway point, and I was like, ah, I feel like I'm just doing the same things. That, that's kind of weird. The only thing new is that I'm getting Leon's story, you know, like with Ada and stuff. Um, but I'm like, yeah, but why did we need like an A and B campaign for that? Like I don't know. So no, I don't think you're taking. I don't think you're taking crazy pills at all. I thought I picked the wrong thing in the menu. Where is the scenario different in the original R2? Oh, weren't the scenarios? Well, they they're not super different. I mean, you, the thing is that's where my that's where my devil's advocate part came in. I was like, well, in Resident Evil 2, I think for the first half of the game, you do pretty much. You, you still got to find the the wheel, and you still got you know. Oh, I forgot the fucking chemical. I'm gonna go back and get that chemical, right? Because I didn't. Damn, I'm stupid. I didn't grab it from the machine. Um. But yeah, there was a couple things different. You know, there were some doors you could, you had to like, or one door at least where Claire had to put her thumbprints in and then Leon had to do it too. Um, so there's like some things like that where they, yeah, it felt different. Plus like in Claire's or, or the B scenario, you had to like deal with Mr. X. He wasn't in the A scenario, but in this one he's in both. Um, I also don't like the, the original four scenarios either, but they don't have different, sto they do have different story arc, exactly. There are some different things in them. Oh, he's dead. Well, I'm wasting bullets now. But yeah, they do have differences. And there's some differences in here so far. I mean, I haven't beat this yet, but... Um, but even the Birkins looked the same. Like it was clear in Resident Evil 2 that you were you were fighting Bir one type of Birkin and then another type of Birkin. Um, you know, in the B scenario. Wow! 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 So that was nice. You know. Whoa! Jesus! Come on! With your fucking one leg, get out of here! I do enjoy that uh, that can uh, that Ken and Puris are gonna freak out because Claire never met Kendo, but Claire A Leon B is what they always scream. Yeah, it's funny because I think I think you play isn't that like your favorite run through is Claire A Leon B. 
I only played Claire first because I like Claire more. I'm more of a Redfield fan. Um, you know, but I like Leon too. It's not like I hate Leon, but uh, but I, I know I know people do scream for that. I don't. I don't think there's a set. To me, Resident Evil Two never had a like a, a an A to B. Like it, it, it I, f I felt like it had, out of all the games, it had the most fluid of, you know, well, what really happened. You know, like it's kind of like Resident Evil One. It's like did they did it in the comic books too? It was funny. They did this joke in a comic where Chris narrates the events of Resident Evil One, but then like Jill goes, "What is Chris talking about? Like I I I saved him. He was locked in the." Uh, in the cell at the end of the game, and I saved him. What is he? Why is he telling the story that he saved me? And it was like a little just meta joke for them. Um, but I thought that was uh, I thought that was kind of like funny to poke fun at that. But I just always like for me, it's not. You know, I I don't I'm a canon and continuity freak, but for me I'm like, hey, the main thing that matters is is that uh, Sherry was saved. They fought four versions of Birkin and blah blah blah. Um, but yeah. Oh wait, I think it was this and this. I'm gonna freaking look at the statue again. I try to tell people that canon storyline is not everything that happens. You right, exactly. Right. It's it's not. The, the I say that the canon part is kind of the cutscenes. If you play Leon A and Claire B, if you just focus on the cutscenes and not the uh which most people skip because they're either speedrunning or you know they they like, "Oh, I know the story. It's not a big deal." But the cutscenes are kind of different, you know, in from A to B uh, for the most part. So I'd say that's what you should kind of count. And it's not every little. De it's not who found the crest and who found the whatever. You know, that's not a. That's not important. Did I not do that right? This, this, maybe that and that. Ah, there we go. Well, now we have a new cannon, right? Except the boss fights are up for interpretation of who actually fought them. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, because that was the thing. It was like, oh, I get to play as um wait. Are you kidding me? I did have the cartridge. The whole time I had the cartridge. Let's go put water in it and then we'll go freeze it. Yeah, so, I don't know. That's so, yeah, when, that was the first thing I noticed when we played as Leon. played as Leon and we fought that first Birkin I got I was a little upset I was like what ah dang it too much two of those, right? Maybe. Last time we got lucky with this. <laughs> this time I'm not having as much luck.
I think I royally screwed this up. That's what I need, that little bit left. Okay. All right, I think this will work now. Um, so yeah, when I played that first Birkin fight with Leon, I'm just like, what the F? Like, this is the, the same location, same everything, um, same strategy, same, just, just Sherry wasn't there. And then the ladder magically fell down. I was just like, that's how lazy that felt. I felt that was very lazy. I was like, so there's not even a person here to kick the ladder down? This isn't where we meet Ada? Like, no, nothing? I'm like, okay. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?